I came to the Wallace Center to enhance our students' ability to succeed. Student success is at the center of what we hope for as educators. When I joined the faculty about four years ago, uh, one of my first questions to uh, my mentors here on campus were, um, how do we document student work effectively? Uh, the answer quickly came up that in the Wallace Center they had resources for students to do that. So I came and introduced myself to Elizabeth and uh, found we had an outstanding resource here in her office. Just having the in-house capabilities are, are critical. Her team is student-based. So many of my students know her students or form relationships with the team here that goes beyond the specific interaction around their, their photo projects. And to me, that student-centeredness is really a, a wonderful opportunity for cross-disciplinary work um, and for uh, understanding the professional landscape that the students are going to be involved in beyond school. Without proper communication, it's impossible to tell your story and photography is a vital part of that communication in the case of three-dimensional objects and systems that our students make. Industrial designers, when they go out into the workforce, are showing their portfolios in order to get job positions. That is the key aspect or the key communication tool that we have to seal the deal with uh, potential employers. We're dragging around a two-dimensional document and that document consists of you know, research data and imagery of the three-dimensional projects that we make. So that imagery has to be world-class. If the Wallace Center uh, ceased to provide a service like this, we would be in dire straits in my program, and I'm sure in other programs. We'd have to basically recreate it on our own, which would not be easy. For me, you know, Wallace Center is, is, a, is a plethora of important resources for, for students and faculty. I bring my students and many of my colleagues bring their students over to the Wallace Center um, to, to do research demos um, with, uh, with the uh, librarians. Becky Simmons in the archives is a fantastic resource for us. Um, each meta project in the past uh, four years, um, Becky has selected one uh, one student work from to put into the permanent archives at RIT and we've created a kind of time capsule with her there so that the, the student project goes into the archives but not just the, the final objects, uh, all the sketches, all the research, all the product development and any back-end information and what that allows her to do is to tell that story kind of in perpetuity. So documenting, communicating and presenting the work in its best possible light is, in effect, student success. And that's why we come to the Wallace Center.